Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. Today we're taking a look at this rifle. This is the G3 SG1. Which just means a G3 sniper variant basically. Or the Skerpskuttegewehr, something like that. My German is terrible, even though I'm Dutch. So... This is just a G3 with some uh, modifications to make it uh, more uh, snipery. So uh, I would recommend you take a look at my G3 video and whatever other sources on the G3 you want. But short of it, G3 is basically just a German army battle rifle. A lot of other nations adopted it, Sweden, Norway, some others, uh, Indonesia as well, I believe. And a bunch of others. And uh, the Germans adopted this because basically they couldn't get the F and foul. So the G3. They ended up taking just the G3, making some modifications to it. So uh, the first modification, we'll just put that aside, uh, they did, was uh, bipod. Always useful for a sniper. And they changed the trigger on it. And... Uh, I believe that was uh, about it, otherwise it's uh, pretty much uh, identical. And they gave it a uh, sight, which is just used as a claw, mo claw mount. You can put that on your G3. And uh, you have your sniper. The sight, it's a variable optic, it goes from 1.5 power... Oops, wrong button. Um, to... 6. Oops. So, uh, for your uh, long-range shooting, it has a 20-round uh, uh, magazine, it's chambered in 7.62 NATO, cartridge we all know. It uh, has, uh, just like the, G the regular G3, it has uh, single fire, helps if you uh, charge it, and auto. Of course, as a sniper, you don't probably don't want to do auto. Of course, it's a HK weapon, so... You can slap it. You don't have a HP, HK weapon without a HK slap. If it doesn't have the HK slap, is it really a HK weapon? So, this is just a sn Oh, and I forgot. They also added a, like, a cheek pad ri riser on the, the stock. Other than that, it's just a G3. So uh, we can uh, do the little sniper thing. The iron sights are usable, albeit hardly below the scope, although I don't know why you would do that. Kind of a World War uh, two, 1 and 2 thing to do that. Let's increase the magnification a bit. Lower the zero to 100 meters. I put the target at 100 meters. Let's see, let's sew the sheet. And let's see how accurate I can be. I Oh, right. Let's do one at a time. Pretty close. That was a bad one, yep. That was a uh, ooh, pretty close. I'm not gonna spend too much time. So, the G3, it's, uh, you know, it's a reliable weapon. Uh, rockin' uh, magazine, I believe. Pop it in. Of course, real thing, you would uh, first do this. Pop in the mag. Slap it. Slap it. I guess you gotta be holding it. Slap it. And then you're good to go. Let's put on the fun switch. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I did hit a bullseye, not too bad. Let's see, uh, let's uh, begin a new set. Let's uh, do full auto with the bipod on. Yeah. It's 7.62 NATO, so... It's going to uh, have quite a bit of... Uh, Let's move that. Quite a bit of recoil, so not really uh, 
ideal for full auto. Go in, slap, couple of misses. Let's uh, remove the sight, and you get to see some of the recoil. It did everything but the target. Wait, uh, I was gonna mention it doesn't look open and empty, but then I went ahead and locked the bolt open anyway, so I couldn't show it. But uh, let's uh, dump another mag. That went nowhere as well. But as you see, doesn't lock open on empty. You have to uh, pull the charging handle back into the little notch. New mag. Bah. I love the HK slap. slap. So uh, this rifle, mainly st sticking to... Uh, to... Uh, single fire. And I guess you can't uh, move the drum on uh, this model. Alrighty then. Of course, it has uh, the HK claw mount, so if I'm not wrong... I'm gonna take a look at that now. Uh, let's head to attachments... Um, real adapter... There we go. This claw mount will fit here. And uh, you can uh, put on whatever side you want. Uh, let's do... Sure, this should be Picatinny, right? There you go. For your modern battle rifle. I prefer the regular old G3 though over this, but it's uh, certainly an improvement with the inbuilt bipod for uh, sniping use. And I would love to see the Swedish uh, G modernized G3, the AK-40. I would love to see that in game. But anyways. The G3 SG-1, the Sniper G3. I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!